So you don't know how to make videos like this? Not a problem. So, we will learn through a series of videos all the necessary steps for creating the craziest and most stylish videos. By following all parts, you will be able to make fantastic and crazy short video even if you have a normal GPU. So, we are going to divide the work by block. Each block will be the subject of a video that we finally nix for a great unique workflow. Ready? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. So, let's go. So, hi everyone and welcome to the second part of how to make a video with AI. In the last video, namely part one, we work on the background. In this video, either the part two of the workflow, we will work on the foreground why we will use masks. Don't care. We will see this in detail. So, you will find all the necessary links below in the description. So, let's start with nodes. So I load a video load node, and image batch, and ultralytics detector, and SEGM detector, then a SEGS to mask node with a mask list to mask, and finally a grow mask with blur. Let's add two mask preview to see what it done. All right. Let's now connect all these nodes. I put it successively to facilitate their connection. So, you will find all the links for all nodes in the description of the video below. I hope that we will reach 1000 subscribers to be able to put the clickable links directly and also the workflow files. Then, we can adjust the Poison node for a better visibility. So, okay, we need now a video. I have a pretty girl dancing. I active show preview and run the cute prompt. He voila, you can see the result in mass preview. Let's continue the second part of nodes by loading all the nodes you need. So we start with load image, load checkpoint, prep image for clip vision, LoRa loader, IP adapter model, load clip vision, IP adapter encoder, IP adapter embeds. Let's adjust the position. Now connect nodes like me. So please note that this part of tutorial is very important. This is the comfy UI reference implementation for new version of IP adapter models. Remember, the IP adapter are very powerful models for image to image conditioning. The subject or even just the style of the reference images can be easily transferred to a generation. Think of it as a one image LoRa. All right, so this is the new composition node you need to make it work. So, let's move on the right now. I try to divide the rock flow into blocks. Load video and checkpoint block. Mass block. IP adapter block. And now control net block. So then, we continue for the rest of nodes. Clip set last layer. Two clip node for positive and negative prompt. Three control net nodes. One for depth. One for open pose and another one. 
So, then, like you know, we need to load the specific model for each control net. I use for this example the Opone Pose, DAP for DW Pose Estimator, and Control Net for DAP Anything. Let's now move up for the Animate Diff block. Then, we need nodes for Animate Diff. Apply Node, Context Option, Evolved, then three sets nodes to connect with K-Sampler, VE Decode, and a video combine for output. Let's connect all that. Please do like me, and pause the video if you need. I also add get video frames, FDG mask and get VAE. For VAE, you can load the one that works best for you. For me, I use MSE 840 with Shaper 8. So, all right, let's start by linking this block to the clit set. Some position adjustment. I attach to positive and negative prompt. The same thing with control net. So, connect all control net nodes between us. Positive with positive and negative with negative. Don't forget the models. Let's check the connection through a global view. Then, let's move on to the last block, and as we did with the others, and connect the nodes together. I placed them so that it was intuitive to join. So, regarding set nodes, we can make it the subject of a video. They are practical and easy to use. Let's adjust the position of these nodes and connect them. So, with the advance of text-to-image diffusion models, 
you can manifest your imagination into high-quality images. Animate Diff is a practical framework for animating personalized T2I models without requiring model-specific tuning. The motion module effectively learns transferable motion priors from real-world videos. Now let's move on to the global view. Everything looks okay. So, here is where I add a Git Video Frames node like a SAD before, and Git of GD Mask node. We could also add a Git VE. I use Git node to avoid searching far node and to have a near connection line. So, please, try to check the connections. Sometimes the lines slip and do not connect to the node. So be careful. All right, the workflow is starting to grow with a lot of nodes. We can create some groups for a better look. It is important to position the nodes or blocks in an understandable way because after a while, reading them becomes difficult. Don't care, in the next video. We will allow the necessary time for the reorganization of the workflow with the group nodes. So, let's add an image for IP adapter. I choose a 3D girl model to clearly see the result. So, the most basic way of using the image to video model is by giving it an init image, like in the following workflow. I use between 12 and 16 frames for the test. You can use until 50 frame if you have enough VRAM. Then when you have the result that you want, you can proceed to cube prompt all frames. In this workflow, I use three control net and one IP adapter model. I use the new version of IP adapter because the last update is a breaking update. If you wish to see updates and new features, please consider sponsoring me by subscribing on MK YouTube channel, where you can check comfy UI understanding videos and our work. We will be able to share complete workflows when we have enough subscribers, because it's the only way to keep all free. So. I'll let you do some tests with your own checkpoint model's choices and adjust it like you want. In the next video, we will see how to mix part 1 and part 2 of workflow either the background and foreground workflow. The mix between the two gives wonderful result. So keep in touch and see you soon!